So I think, I mean, obviously Halo has always been sort of focused on creativity and community. And I think it's the seeds of that that made coming onto the IP for me back in 2008 officially uh, so exciting. You know, I think when we started 343, the thing that that sort of inspired me the most, and, and certainly when we were building the Halo 4 team, the thing that uh, I was really looking for in candidates is people who weren't just passionate about Halo, but they were passionate about what Halo could be. And that isn't because there was there was anything missing. It's just it it had such an extraordinary foundation, and it felt like there was so much opportunity uh, to really express the universe in different ways, and really sort of take all of the strengths that were already there, uh, and and really start to pull them together in a really deliberate way. So for me, as a Halo fan, obviously just working on Halo was um, was extraordinary, but. But the idea of really thinking about where do we want to tell stories? How do we want to tell stories? How do we think about Halo as not just the game, even though the game is certainly at the center of everything that we do, but how do we really think about it as an IP and a universe that people want to inhabit and what are the things that we can do to make it both inviting and also make it uh, a, a journey that people feel that they can go on uh, on their own, but also as part of a community. We're in a place where we have a lot of things in production right now, so you're in that in that that heads down space, um, and sometimes it's hard to uh, uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, there are so many things we're excited about. I think um, for us, uh, thinking about what kind of audiences um, we can talk to. Um, you know, how do we continue to strengthen our community and also how do we think about ways of giving our community the tools they need to become, uh, uh, to sort of express their creativity and to do all the things they want to do. Um, and so, you know, obviously with Infinite, we're, we're so excited at, at, at what we're going to be able to do there. With the TV show, it's a whole different form of storytelling, and so it's a really great creative challenge, and that's always inspiring. Um, but really, I get excited about, you know, who haven't we been able to touch yet, right? And what are the things we can do to get to them while also just strengthening the community and the fans that we have? When we started out in 2008, um, we were really deliberate in saying, let's take the time, A, even though we were already fans or had been involved in the game in some way, shape, or form, how do we take the time to really sit back and understand what Halo is? Like, what, what are all the pieces from a tactical perspective? What are the things that connect people to Halo, whether it's gameplay or story uh, or the novels? Um, and how do we think about the universe really holistically? Because you know, what we, what we wanted was not, oh, let's go be bigger in transmedia. The way that I looked at it is, how do we take this universe and express it in different ways? And how do we create different entry points into the universe depending on, you know, sort of the, the things that people were passionate about and fans were passionate about and new audience would be passionate about. And so it felt like this incredible exercise of, you know, what stories do we want to tell? Where do we want to tell them? How do we think about innovation, not just in the game, but also in other areas of entertainment and other areas of, of expression and, and creating different kinds of experiences? So it wasn't like, oh, we want to be in this space and that space and that space. It was, we have these really interesting stories to tell and this would be a super cool way to tell it. Um, and, and so that was um, like incredibly invigorating and I think has helped us, but you know, some bumps along the way, but has helped us really do things that feel uh, valuable to our fans and our audience. And for us, if something wasn't moving the universe forward, um, then it wasn't, it wasn't worth doing. You know, I think the thing that really helps inspire us with fresh ideas, A, the game industry is incredibly creative, right? So, so, Every time an extraordinary game experience comes out, we, you know we're all we're all players. You know it's inspiring. Um, but I think the thing that really mostly drives that is audiences always changing, right? And all of entertainment shapes 
audience expectations and behaviors and what they're doing. And as new generations come in and younger people come in, um, their behaviors are different and what they're doing are different. And it's always so enlightening to see that people are engaging with entertainment in different ways. And I think for us, that always creates these sparks of ideas and interest and is always sort of pushing us forward to uh, to think about the game and all of these experiences in a different way. Um, innovation is incredibly important to us. I mean, we feel like it's, it's part of Halo's DNA. So no matter what we do, we're always trying to think about how do we differentiate this experience? How does it feel authentic to Halo? But how do we give our, our players and our viewers and our fans um, something new?